bill making. Yes. Uh, from uh, your particular point of view, uh, what's the role of uh, um, a magazine about architecture in the relationship between uh, architecture and society? Right. Well, the, uh, the main idea I think is is that the the magazine. The thing it has going for it that's the most interesting is, is that it has the ability to create a community, to create a group of people who are able to um, relate to each other through reading the information in the newspaper. Um, and that's the one thing that we've tried most uh, hard to, to accomplish and what I think still makes magazines um, unique. In the 1960s, for example, late 60s and early 70s when I was in university, we always looked to the magazines for information. That's how we found out what was going on with Super Studio and ArchiZoom, for example. Now that kind of information exists largely on the web. Um, information is instantaneous. Uh, blogs, websites pass this information around. Um, and what the, the newspaper uh, magazines can do is to do something more thoughtful that um, can really reflect in a deeper way, I think, um, on the subject, whereas the, the blog uh, website gets the information out uh, immediately. So there is a difference. But as I said, our newspaper is really a blog on paper. And Particularly even now, people still commute in the um, New York, at least, in the subway, and they take the paper with them and read it while they're commuting. That's the kind of time that they have to carve out. And our whole magazine is meant to be read in two hours, three hours at most.